Hey everybody, I want to show you how to install Fourth on Windows. Uh, this will work on any pretty much you know Windows 7 or whatever, but uh, I'm on Windows 10 right now. Uh, you just want to go to fourth.com. Really, you, if you want to go straight there, you can go to fourth.com slash download, or you can just uh, once you're on fourth.com, you can just go over to the Swift Swift Fourth, download the free evaluation version, uh, and then um, Swift. Swift Fourth for Windows, and that'll get you a uh, an IDE here. We'll uh, we'll um, install this, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty basic. It's pretty pretty rudimentary. So, but uh, it'll it'll get you through the course. I think at least most of it. I'm not sure how it, how it'll work so well on the very last video with the uh, SDL. But um, if you <clears throat> you know if you're wanting to go down that route, I would suggest putting a virtual machine on your system, you know, that does, uh, that can run Linux. Um, all right, so we'll say yes to the administrative the UIC prompt there and accept the agreement, <clears throat> install it wherever is whatever you want there. Uh, I'm going to add it to the start menu and install. It's pretty quick. It's just a, it's a small, program, you know, it's nothing too crazy. And we'll just say next, install in, in, out, imp, out driver. So that's, um, we'll do that uh, so that it can communicate with the OS. Uh, and then we'll launch. Uh, successfully installed. Okay. All right. So here's Swift fourth and here it is. So uh, just like with any other force. So this is kind of nice in a, in a way because um, you don't have to like, you know, get into it and then say buy. You can say buy and that's going to close out of it. <clears throat> but, oops. Uh, yeah, that's what that, it's $399 for the real version. But you can use the um, trial version as long as you want. And for this course, it's going to be, it's perfect because, um, I don't know, I think, I think this this course is really about learning something new and uh, learning to programming from a different perspective and, and I think that's what's really valuable about this course not necessarily that you'll be using fourth in production especially on a Windows system um, if you do use fourth in production you're probably going to be using it, it on like an embedded system or like an embedded chip where you can specialize it so but uh Anyway, let's see, let's uh, throw some things on the stack here, add them together, let's see what we got. Seven plus five, 12, yeah, sounds right. Uh, anything on the stack? Nothing on the stack now. Let's put, uh, we can put some stuff on the stack here. Let's see, yep, all right, so we're, we're good. So uh, that's how you install fourth on Windows and uh, um, Stay tuned for the rest of the course. It's going to be a good one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.